So this is a demo of the uh, Smalls receiver. Uh, this is the radio, as you can see it's not very big. Um, just quickly, uh, antenna input, there's a phase splitting transformer, two tiny analog switches. Um, this little bit here is the uh, op amp audio section, uh, speaker jack. This is the VXO ICS512 ceramic um, resonator. Um, LDO regulator. This is the varactor uh, um, that tunes the uh, the VXO and a 25 turn pot for tuning. Uh, so I have it hooked up to this crappy little battery operated speaker so you can hear it. Um, the antenna is uh, it's hooked to a, a 43 foot uh, a dipole up in my attic. So let's see, right now it's set up on 20 meters. So let's see what we can hear here. You can hear this, it's a little bit microphonic, but not too bad. So let's just tune up through 20 meters and see what we hear. There's a bit of distortion in those speakers. It's not actually in the radio, it's those tiny little speakers. But you can hear that the, the tuning is... Um, it's, it's pretty good in terms of audio selectivity for CW. Not a lot of signals on 20 meters. It's a little bit touchy to tune, but but you know, the stability of the uh, the VXO is actually pretty good. Hear that guy again because it's a direct conversion receiver. Yeah, a lot more signals here. So, okay, so I'm right at the top of the tuning range, so you can hear I'm just picking up a bit of um, PSK31. So it's right around 14070. So I'll just really quickly. I'm going to change it here to uh, show you that it does do different bands. Uh, let's change this to 15 meters. These silly little jumpers are just lost. Downside of having a radio that's so small. Okay, so I'm going to tune down on 15 meters and see if we hear anything. Nice. Oh, there's somebody. Yeah, well, doesn't sound like there's much activity on 15 meters today. So, anyway, there you have it. It's a very tiny little direct conversion receiver that covers uh, five or six bands, depending on how you hook it up.